Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on In the Woods by Tana French. This is a thriller mystery story that takes place in Ireland in the 1980s. Three kids go missing in the woods and they are only able to find one of the kids and he is basically clutching a tree, unable to remember anything that has happened, his sneakers are soaked in blood, and then they never find the other two kids who have gone missing. And then 20 years later, the kid who was found ends up sort of leaving that identity behind. He moves away and goes to a boarding school and things like that and he ends up joining the Dublin murder squad and then he comes across a case one day where a girl is murdered and found in the woods where he happened to go missing. This is a book that I've been having a really hard time figuring out how to talk about in a review because it's a mystery and a thriller and there is a lot that happens that I think is important that you don't know ahead of time. I don't want to talk too much about this book because I don't want there to be too many spoilers but I will say a couple of things. The main character is Detective Rob. Everything is seen through his point of view as he's trying to solve the murder. You see a lot of the struggle that he's dealing with in terms of solving this murder but also wanting to solve this mystery that happened to him in his past and so a lot of his motivation is coming from that and you can see that coming out in his actions. This is definitely a story that is less about the actual mysteries and more about the main character and what he's dealing with psychologically. I've seen some people compare these books to Gillian Flynn's work, but I would say that Gillian Flynn is much more twisted and her characters seem a little bit more on the edge of crazy. Like Gillian Flynn's stories, you could tell when you're reading it like everyone is kind of insane and there's something wrong but this one you can't completely figure out if these people are actually insane or not. I know that there are some people out there who didn't like the ending of this book because the ending of the book is not necessarily what you think it's going to be. This book isn't about what you think it's about. Some people might find that a little bit disappointing but I actually really like that. When I finished the book I was pleasantly surprised. I definitely think Tana Friends has found a really interesting way to tell stories within this genre that can often feel very formulaic and I think that this is a very unique look at it. I will definitely be picking up her second book, I already own it, The Likeness, and I'll probably be reading that sooner rather than later because I really enjoyed this one. So yeah, if you're someone who enjoys thriller novels, specifically murder mysteries that are slightly more psychological, I definitely, definitely recommend this book. So yeah, those are my basic thoughts on In the Woods. I apologize if this review feels really vague or anything like that, but honestly, because of the way that the story is structured, I don't know how to talk about it without giving things away. But if you have read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you thought of it, especially the ending because I could see some people loving it and some people hating it. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.